I was at a Halloween barn party in Norman, Oklahoma, and my close and very dear friend said, there's someone here I want you to meet. You two were destined for each other. I kind of rolled my eyes, and he said, no, really? At the time, I was looking for the four Ts, tall, thin, and 23. I was 24 and thought perhaps time had passed me by, but there was the four Ts standing right there in front of me, and so I was quite excited. We talked and chatted, and he was one of the f people, few people that had a brain in his head, so I wanted to see more of him after that. My mother, she had told me that I have the same rights as anybody else. And so when Jack asked me to be his lover, I said, well, if you're willing to find a way for us to get married, I will commit to you. And so that's when I said, well, I'm going to have to find a way to go to law school. And that's where it all started. One of the things that Jack discovered in law school is that there are many ways to accomplish what you really want to do in the legal system. We thought, let's change Jack's name. Let's make it gender neutral. So we changed Jack's name to Pat Lynn McConnell. And the license was issued. We went to a friend who was registered with the state to perform marriages and asked him to perform our marriage, which he did. That was September 3rd, 1971. Our rings have a, a particular, very powerful meaning for me. When our rings are put together, it says, Jack loves Mike, and then you re reverse the sides, and it says, Mike loves Jack. We got quite a bit of criticism, and very few people were actually supporting us. But I figured, well, history would speak for itself. <laughs> 